Hi ladies, this is Carla. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. What I want to make for you today and share with you is another little treat holder for my craft fair. Now the paper that I'm using is from Graphic 45. It's double-sided and I think their uh, Christmas series this year was called Christmas Wishes. That's a lot of beautiful paper, a lot of different little uh, tags and stickers and things that go with it. Now, I went on my Cricut and I went under holiday boxes and it pulled up several and I liked the looks of this one. I didn't realize when I cut it out, it was really for Halloween. It's called Tombstone and I, I could see that after, you know, I chose it, but I still liked it. Now this must be an older design because it did not ask me for my scoring tool when I cut it out. And so I watched on the, um, the image that it gave me on my mats on the screen and realized that these little sides right here need to be folded down. So we're gonna do that. And you just kind of fold those it's a little bit at an angle, but not much. Just fold those down. And we'll go to the other side. Fold that one down. I've made 11 of these. And I just love the way they turned out. Love, love, love. So I've got this little flaps on the side folded down and this up here is another little flap as you can see it has a cut it has a cut in there and so we're going to come over to this side and we're going to fold those little flaps even where if there was a score line that's where it would be on the little flap fold come over here and Fold this one as well. And then we're gonna fold right here, where that would also be a score line if, if it gave those to us. Come over here and let's do this side the same way. This one looks a little wider, but I just did them all this way, so I guess it was fine. <laughs> there might have been, I don't know. But anyway, that's what I did. And on this side, you get the flap. And what this does, this will fit into this after we get it all assembled. So it will be um, like so. All right, now let's come over here. And let's fold this side. We want to get it pretty even as well right along here where it cut gives us a little corner you could use your bone folder i'm just using my fingernails for now and i'll do this one and as you can see when you fold this all up it does look like a tombstone doesn't it but i'm doing something a little bit different with it what I'm going to do, and before I get this all glued together, I'm going to take these two little tombstone tops, and I'm going to take my hole punch, and I've got it set, let's see, this side. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to punch a hole right in the top. And the next thing I'm gonna do is take my glue, my art glitter glue, shake that up a little bit. And I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna put some glue down this little fold on this side. I'm gonna put some glue on this side. And we're simply going to pull those out a little, bring this up. And we're gonna put our sides even together. 
and you have to hold that a little bit to get that to stick down in this corner it doesn't go all the way but I think it's it will hold nicely there give that a little time to dry well today I've been getting everything ready for my craft fair because in the morning we go to Branson, we unload everything, and then I'll stay and get it all set up. And then I'll come home and get ready for Friday when all the people come. Oh, that looks nice. Now this one, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, but it's not, uh, there's not a, anything to put glue on to get that, but it's fine. That's the way I did all mine, and I think they're adorable, just adorable. So we're gonna come over here, put some glue on this little flap. I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit. I got a little bit too much. Then same thing over here. I'll put this on here. And then I'm gonna just do the same thing. Hold those in place till they get glued on there. That looks like it's touching pretty well. Can I get this one also on the outside? You can see that. All right, let's just go ahead and squish that up in there. Come in here with my finger, make sure that's stuck in there. All right. Let that dry a little bit. Oof. <laughs> I got glue on my fingers. And then what I do when you fold this down, what I'm going to do is, and you'll hook that little flap there, and I'm going to take a ribbon and tie it together. Does it make that made the cutest little gift box. So cute. And I'll just, you have to tell them what's inside of it. Not going to open these. And so um, you wouldn't need to. So that's kind of drying. I'm going to not put anything in there yet. Oh, my cat's starting to squall. Diggy, diggy. It's okay. Yeah, he said, yeah. I think I need to come in here and make sure that this is touching enough to get that glue to stick where we want it to. Okay. It turned really cold here. Today was only in the 30s and the wind chill was like in the 20s. Tomorrow's supposed to be cold too. Of course, we'll be inside, but where we load in, it's, you know, huge doors that are open. And so, dress warm. And I think I have the same place I had last year, which I am thrilled. It's right by the front doors. It's close to the restroom. So, it's nice. Now, what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to put five Lindor chocolates. I had another mix up with my card with QVC. I had ordered these Christmas in July and I kept expecting them. They should have been here in, you know, the first of November and they didn't come, didn't come. I kept thinking, okay, they'll come, they'll come and didn't come. So I called last week and they said, they had canceled it because of the card. And I explained again how my card had been compromised and we got that all set up. And then um, I understood her to say that she was going to go ahead and send those and there was something else with them. Germac little uh, containers, you know, of the mixed nuts and all that stuff. Germac stuff, berries and whatever. And it still didn't come. So today I'm like, oh my goodness. So I called them and the little gal who answered the phone said, no, I see it was just canceled. I don't see that we reordered it and sent it. I'm like, ah. Oh. So I had to go to Walmart and they had boxes 
Let's see, where's my box? I'll share that with you, like this, that they had just gotten in with their Christmas stuff. And I thought there would be enough in one box to fill 11 of these with five Lindor chocolates in it, but there wasn't. So I got two, and they were $19.99 a box. So I tried to figure out how much uh, each one of these little uh, truffles would cost, and it was close to around 49 cents a piece. And they're good, I mean, I'm not knocking it because they are a, a nice candy, and they're one of my favorites. So I went ahead and got those, and anyway, I'm gonna put five in each little container. Okay, now we're gonna pull that little flap in. It may not stay real well because those five fill this up pretty well. Then up here at the top, I cut some ribbon that I purchased at Hobby Lobby, and these are about 12 inches long. Yep, and I'm just going, now this one isn't sticking together as well as some of the others that I made did. Let me rearrange my chocolate. See, that fills it up about as full, really, as you could get it. I really couldn't get another one in there. And so I figured, you know, if they were about 50 cents a piece, there's about $2.50 worth of Lindor chocolates in there. So now I'm going to take my little ribbon and we're just going to take it through this first little hole right there. And pull that through. And we're going to take it through the second little hole right here and pull that through. Oops, I lost it. Let's try that again. Okay, now we're just gonna take this, tie a little bow, pull that together, and isn't that cute? I mean, you just have to punch a little hole in there and that little flap kind of conceals what's inside, which I kind of like that. That way it's kind of a surprise. Okay, whoops, I lost my, try that again. I'm tired, ladies. I don't know. I really am. I'm going to go to bed after I do this tutorial because I'm going to get up in the morning. Got a big day tomorrow. So I still have a few things to do upstairs before I can go to bed. So anyway, there. Got it. And I'm going to take my scissors and just trim this a little bit at an angle. And that one's already at an angle. Now, what I'm using for embellishments are Anna Griffin embellishments. And she has so many cute ones, so I picked out a few. Not exactly sure which ones I'm going with. So let's see. I thought about these Christmas trees, and that's cute. But it doesn't really, you know, pop that much. And I really like this tree. But it... It's kind of large, and I'm not sure where I would put my little Merry Christmas sticker. And this cardinal I really liked. She came out with these this year. But it's a little bit too large, and I know I would not have room for my sticker unless I put it right here on the embellishment itself, which I could. There would not be one thing wrong with that, but I tell you, I have actually fallen in love with her little snowmen this year. I mean, they are so sweet. So what I have is a little starburst that I cut out of one of her dies, and I think I'm gonna place a starburst on here, and we can let some of these little bursts, rays kind of pop up. And I'm gonna put the little snowman on there, and I'm gonna put my little sticker down here. So I'm going to move this out of the way, and let's go ahead, get our glue, and go ahead and put this on. Let's see. I think I'm going to put it on the little rays. Let's just let those go where they go. And let's put this kind of up in the corner, because I do want room. Move that over a little. 
for my sticker to go down here. And this is a sticker here. <coughs> so I wanna peel off the back. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness. Put a little glue on there as well. I'm gonna pop that right here. Cute, cute, cute. Isn't that cute? And I have these uh, Merry Christmas stickers. I try to keep these and get them every year, year when they go on sale. It says Merry Christmas. So I'm just gonna take one of these and pop it down here in the corner. And I think that is darling. Now, I'm going to be charging $5 for these. And at first I thought, wow, that just seems really high. But then when I thought about, well, it's got $2.50 worth of uh, truffles in there. And then, you know, you take into consideration your time and the paper and the little stickers. So I think... I'm gonna go for five dollars. We'll just see how it rolls. So I'm gonna share with you the other ten that I have made. So here's this one, and again, <clears throat> the paper. <clears throat> goodness, the paper is um, Graphic Forty Five, and all the embellishments are Anna Griffin. There's one. And this one, Santa. Her embellishments are just so sweet and so pretty. I love this. She came out with a whole set of poinsettias this year. And I love the pink. I think that is really pretty. Okay, and here is a white one with a little bit of gold greenery behind it. Gold greenery. You know what I mean. <laughs> and then here is Santa again. I used a little present from another one of her dies. And and here is another poinsettia and the paper graphic 45 always makes beautiful paper and um, this is kind of a coordinate of this it's double-sided so this would have been one side of it and that would have been the other side of the graphic 45 paper so there's this one and this is another one of theirs. I thought it was interesting how they really went for poinsettias this year. And they've got a lot of cardinals on their paper as well. Because Anna kind of went with that theme too. And <clears throat> this little bell. And then the cardinal. That's sweet. This was a smaller cardinal. So I was able to use that. There's that beautiful graphic 45 paper. Their paper and Anna's things this year really went well together. And there is another pink poinsettia. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, if you have a Cricut, you should just check that out. It really went fast. It took about one sheet of paper for each little box. But I thought they turned out so, so cute. And uh, yeah, I think they'll be a real plus for my craft fair you know i'll just have to see if people are will pay that but i i think it's worth it i really do and it's um kind of classy looking you know it could be an office gift could be a teacher gift a uh, friend gift it could be a luncheon favor wouldn't that be sweet sitting by a plate at a luncheon that would be really sweet so want to tell y'all i appreciate you all wish me luck at the craft fair i'm going to i will actually be uh starting to sell on friday so i've got a lot of different things this year and i'm just you know hoping that will appeal to the people so anyway thank you for uh, watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for hitting that like button i've noticed that more likes are showing up and i appreciate that so much and i do hope you like what you're seeing so anyway have a wonderful evening and i'm getting ready to go to bed so good night and until next time
拜拜。